Hello and welcome to Crazy Talk Tutorials, Face Profile and Standby Motion. Face Profile styles are now included in the new Crazy Talk. You can choose from nine distinct styles that will allow your images to dramatically move their heads and facial features. Standby motions are also able to be applied to characters, multiplying the amount of emotion each avatar is capable of producing. So now we'll take a look at the nine facial profile styles and standby motion. Open Crazy Talk 5.0 and select the model mode and then click the human folder and select the Lulu avatar. This is a great example of a stylized human model. Click the face profile style icon from the left hand toolbar to launch the face profile style menu. Choose the human profile because it is the one that will work best with the Lulu model. Then slide the profile strength slider all the way forward and move your mouse around the character's head to see the range of motion. Now switch to a different style model. Select the animal folder and then click on the lion model. This is a good example of a character with a long snout. Click the face profile style icon once again on the left hand toolbar to launch the menu and then choose the long snout option because our character now has a snout versus a traditionally shaped face. Slide the motion strength slider all the way back and then review the range of motion. Then all the way forward and move your character's head around and move the mouse around the character's head to see the difference in the range of motion. Doing the same with the profile strength will allow you to control the range of snout extrusion. As you can see, if we crank it all the way up, our character now has a snout to move. Switch yet again to a different style model. Select the doll folder and choose the turtle model. This is a good example of a cartoon character with a convex face. Zoom in on the face and then select the face profile style again and select the convex profile because our character now has a more cartoon styled face. Slide the profile strength sliders all the way forward and move your mouse around the character's head to see the range of motion. Applying a standby motion to your character is easy and creates personality for your character. Return to the human folder and select the Anchorman model for this example. Activate the face profile style menu and choose custom from the standby motion section. Select the, select the custom motion clip folder and then double click on a motion clip. Choose Open to apply to your character and then preview from the standby motion section. Notice your character now has standby motion animation to give it more personality. With the nine new face profile styles to choose from, Crazy Talk now offers a wider variety of options when choosing a character to animate, empowering users to add snouts to animals, convex profiles to cartoons, even flat faces to robot-like characters. Standby motions increase the character's range of emotion, adding to the already realistic nature of your Crazy Talk animations. When profiles and motions are used together, you are sure to enhance the quality of your next facial animation. If you have any further questions, please feel free to visit www.reallusion.com or contact technical support.